Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to the African Allure Outdoors. My name is Ryan Clark. If this is the first time joining us, please remember to subscribe down below, hit the like button. This is a bit of a DIY project. I've had some old uh, parts lying around the house here and I thought I'd build myself a portable pig light. Okay, so folks, we've got the red light up there. You can see it's uh, it's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the GoPro on the app. So I'm going to say connect camera. And what it actually does is it gives you a preview. Now, on this I can actually see nothing, but I'm going to just start recording. Okay, not a bad shot. Right, we're going to add the orange light now. I have the remote in my hands here. I'm going to push it on. So here goes with the remote. How awesome is that? Let's go and have a look at those arrows. I guess it would be fair to say that those are pretty good arrows, both in the 10 ring, 30 yards. So it's got the traditional red light. Um, what I've done is I'm going to just bring you down here. You'll see I put it on, on a little post. Is I've taken a truck light. I've taken a truck light. And uh, these are LED lights. There's so obviously the red stop light. And then there's the yellow flasher light. And you can either switch between just the red light or you can have both on at the same time. I've got a little control but uh, box up here. And uh, if I turn it on, they light up and they should light up the target. So this is all powered by a little 12 volt alarm battery. The benefit of using LED lights is that they're very light on power naturally and they have a wide variance of uh, voltage range. Then over here, I've got a little box and on this box, I've got a remote system this is for a gate remote this is a long range gate remote obviously works with a little press button and um, you'll be able to switch on the external light that i've got what i've added to this as well is a little usb outlet here which you can turn on you'll see that it's it's come on it's flashing blue and what that does is it powers your gopro because GoPros are notoriously bad for sucking power, especially when in Wi-Fi mode. So you'll see if you have a look at the GoPro, he's charging up there nice and red. All right. So then we would turn those lights on. And obviously uh, you can see the bush pig we're hunting tonight. I will show you some footage after dark. And then a little bit further away, we would place a light in the tree. Push the button. Bing! and the light comes on lighting up this whole area with white light and you don't have this hazy red light to deal with and then if the pigs run away you leave your red and your orange light on and you just switch off your white light voila as easy as that turn your gopro on and you're good to go as i say this is all built with spare parts that i had lying around the house if you like these diy sort of videos please like and subscribe down below also stay tuned, I'll take a little bit of footage once it gets dark here and uh, you guys can hopefully see how it works 